Okay, everyone, my last video, I think. <laughs> uh, we have made it to course evaluation time. <laughs> this is a somewhat important course evaluation because this is, as you know, the first time that we've been through a complete online course learning period uh, that was not forced upon us like it was last semester. So here we had a bit of time at least to try and prepare for this and um, well we were curious to see how it went. Now I've spoken, I know I've spoken a number of times with with you guys about how we were doing as we were going through this. Now we've completed the whole process so uh, it's important to know how it worked out for you in the end and if there's any way to improve uh, what could be improved since this is our first time through this. Um, your opinions on, on what how things have gone are important to to me and and, um, and the way I would shape the class moving forward. I, I think I've done a I feel like I've done an alright job of putting this thing together at least alright um, so, but there, there's got to be room for improvement here, right? It's the first time through, so with, after one pass, there's got to be room for improvement. There should be, I hope, there are good things and things that could be improved upon. So that's what I would like to, uh, to see if we could hash out possibly in these course evaluations when you, when you uh, take them. I'll leave a link on the page below the video here uh, on Canvas where a link to the course evals. There's comment sections in there and you would be able to um, put your comments, any, any particular comments on on uh, on that page. Um, I'll kind of briefly summarize the way I've put this together at least in my head, my my vision of what's happened, what, how, why I put it together the way I did and what I think was or was hoping to achieve in that construction of this site of this uh, course uh, and, and maybe you'll agree with some of it and you will not agree with some of it and we'll, uh, I'll understand then <laughs> whether I've made up this scenario in my head or if there's some sort of reality to uh, the success that we've I think we've had uh, so the course I set it up as or I set it up to have both an asynchronous and a synchronous component. So I, I think of the course as having two components. One asynchronous, that is a portion of the course where you don't need me, you just uh, work in the course in your own time. Um, that's the modules that contain videos. And so hopefully those are organized well. You felt that they were organized well, I hope. And that the videos were useful. And step by step took us through the procedures, all the procedures that we needed to to cover, starting with Unix and ending wherever we ended here. So um, hopefully there was organization. Hopefully the videos were okay. I don't do any editing on videos, and that's by design. In fact, it's not just laziness. It is a pain in the butt to do the editing, but uh, I I think there's a benefit to not doing not editing them. I have mentioned before that I've been also uh, taking. We're studying online through a, a person who's who has a, a bunch of videos and, and, and continuously develops them. And um, this person, well, I've got a couple, right? Some of them edit things, and, and one in particular doesn't do any editing. And uh, I personally find that desirable. <laughs> it, it feels more live. It feels more real. Uh, like it's happening at the moment I'm watching the video. Uh, the edited video seems edited, right? It seems like it's been polished. Uh, not to say that that's a bad thing, it is just different and I kind of just like the the feel that it's it's live, it's happening live. So that's why I didn't do any editing on the videos, or I did very little. There were a couple that I played around with it a bit, but but not much. Generally speaking, there was no editing. Um, so that's the, the sync the asynchronous portion of it, the portion where you can choose, you should be going in order because that would be hard to go out of order, but hopefully the order was easy to follow, right, and I'm sure it, you had to go by the order because I didn't allow things to be released outside of the correct order, 
but hopefully you were able to follow the videos and they were useful. Right, we'll leave it at that. And you were, so what I like about the asynchronous portion of the course is that you can tackle those videos um, at your at your own leisure, at your own time. So hopefully that allows you to schedule your life around. I don't want to say around these videos. You can interleave the videos with your life, <laughs> so that both things can happen. You can <laughs> you can work or do whatever you have to do, and then still do the videos. And there's not a a set time where you miss the lecture, right? This is something that I've always thought was a a, a very beneficial thing uh, with on, online learning. It, it allows a lot more flexibility, I believe. But um, so I appreciate that in the courses that I work with right that I was just talking about the one problem I have with the courses that I'm in is that when I get stuck I have no one to talk to all right and so the the synchronous portion of our course I think addresses that that issue um, I would love it if I had an opportunity to speak with uh, this guy or one of these guys it's a couple different um, paths that I'm that I that I study at the moment uh, but I would love to be able to have even even five minutes, right? Not it wouldn't take. I, I know I would never need an hour and fifteen minutes with any one of them in, in any one shot. But but to just be able to have ten minutes live conversation and helping to understand um, a problem or hash through it, I think it's extremely valuable. It's something I I don't get, and because I want it, I desire it so so badly. I. I had to put it in this course as well, right? So that we use it as a, uh, our, a regular class time as a Q&A kind of session, right? So the lecture is handled by the videos in the asynchronous portion. Um, but uh, the, the, so in the class time then is used for qu questions and answers, the very thing that you, I can't do in those videos because I can't anticipate necessarily what your questions are going to be. So hopefully uh, that portion, you, you could at least appreciate why we would have that now typically I know early in the in the early on in the course we spent a lot of time uh, in class particularly with Unix stuff that we were working on um, and then we used we, we made heavy use of that Q&A time and as the course uh, progressed maybe we didn't need it quite as much but it's fine we didn't use it as much the fact is it was still available for us if necessary and I think that that's extremely valuable. Hopefully you agree that that was that that is valuable. Um, I guess that's really all I have. Maybe you agree with, and, and I think we were very successful in the whole thing. I think the course went very smoothly. I I don't think we had any real hiccups of any sort. I I really think that it. In fact, I would go so far as to say I think it may have gone better than had we done it live. Uh, live I don't want to say live <laughs> I want to say in person um, I, there are things that we can do in class that I that we just can't do uh, in person that uh, this sh these these Q&A sessions are not possible live or they're very difficult I would say very difficult to handle in an in-person kind of setting uh, so that's I guess all I really have on this so I, I guess wherever you can somewhere on those evaluations there are comments you could you could ag agree or disagree <laughs> with what I'm saying to help and that would help guide me into how to uh, maybe make adjustments for next semester which will also be uh, online um, and and who knows for how long but uh, next semester we know anyway um, so I would appreciate any input that I can get uh, I'm looking to improve the course uh, the the delivery of the course right so the material is the material whether it's going to be in person or online um, I just want to make sure the online delivery is optimal <laughs> so that uh, it's it, it's easy to learn it shouldn't be harder to learn it should be easier in my mind um, and I, you know, that brings uh, to mind uh, something. Some I had been speaking to someone about this who said to me that uh, it was easy. 
<laughs> the course was easy uh, as, as opposed to other courses and I, I think really what she she really meant to say was maybe something like it was it's a couple ways I could try to phrase it. Easy is a very general word, right? We use that, and it's it's very broad. What do you mean by easy? Do you mean the course content was easy? Uh, I'm not so sure she meant that. I, I think she meant it was easy to learn, and and that's um uh, kind of a, a that's an important thing that it's not harder to learn. <laughs> it, it, it shouldn't be harder for you to get the concepts when we're uh, operating online than if we were in person all right it should i'm it's my my goal my desire is to make it easier to learn online than in person rather than harder to learn online <laughs> in person than in person so i don't know uh, when you're when you do i don't know what what you would write in those comments or anything you could uh but you, you get my my idea my thoughts are that you know it's possible that I, i've concluded that this has been a very successful semester in my own mind. It's a, it's a like a, a, a world I've concocted in my own head, and it only exists in my head. <laughs> that could be. Uh, so I, you know, if if things went all right, went well, uh, it would be nice to know. Um, I, I I know I've heard from many people who say it is nice. It, it did work, and it was effective. Uh, and, and in some cases, more so than than other classes. Uh, and I would appreciate if if you use a word more or words more descriptive than just a blanket statement like it was easy because <laughs> that that that's that's hard to interpret what do you mean by that um, if that's in fact the way you're gonna go you, you could go completely a different oper uh, direction and say this was the worst course I ever had in my life <laughs> I don't know you might but uh, whatever just so long as I get some sort of I would really appreciate getting some sort of uh, input uh, so I can use that to shape the course all right guys it's been a great semester thanks a lot I hope it's worked for you I think that you've all learned a great deal probably more than you even realize you learned but uh, in time you may recognize how much you learned <laughs> we'll see anyway all right I'm sure we have a little bit of class time left so I'm sure you'll see you there and beyond that have a good Christmas break. Maybe I'll see you next semester.